What's going on guys? This is the Year Better Beer Bear back with another blind beer review. Dave and Maury were both downstairs, out of sight as I poured these up. Can't wait to get into this one and see what you guys think. Let's do that. Well, I smell some hops beneath some amber malts. I mean, those are I the do, two yeah. things jumping out at me is that earthy hop character and some big amber malts. Yeah. I mean, if, based on the aroma, if I had to take a stab, I'd say a hoppy red ale. Yeah, that's what it smells like to me, too. I mean, the hops aren't blowing up in your face, but, you know, I'm thinking, like, you know, just a nice hopped-up red ale. They are the front-runner, though, and I'm mm. getting, you know, a hefty dose of some sweet red malts, yeah. maybe some ambers. I gave the glass a little swirl and some caramels jumping out at me now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can get a little of that caramel action. Yeah. Yeah, there's even a hair of a butterscotch. Yeah, smell and either of those <laughs> buttery candies, really, after I even swirl, it came shooting at me. But still, those hops are... Oh, yeah. Earthy. Hops, earthy. And they're like those, uh, like, sticky hops. Oh, yeah. Not it's those like real the... fruity, tropical guys. These are these real sticky, deep, you know, hops. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. That's huge caramel taste. Yeah. Wow. Yep, nice amber malts and caramel malts really jumping out at me. The hops are definitely there, but not as much as they were on the aroma. <laughs> Dude, I was taken back by the amount of caramel butterscotch flavor I just got on that first sip. And the lack, I didn't get a ton of hops, not based on what the nose indicated. I mean, it was like a butterscotch candy. Mm -hmm. And for me, as I'm drinking here, there's definitely more of a, a malty forwardness to the taste, but the hops I'm getting are all in the back ends, and they do give kind of a nice lingering bitterness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really liking this. I definitely am still getting the hops. I am too, yeah, but I'm just saying there. that butterscotch flavor from the malt is definitely Oh yeah, the malt's more really shy for me. Yeah. You know. in, compar in, yeah, in comparison to the aroma, the hops are not quite as full. No, but still very noticeable. Do you think anything, uh, has this been aged in anything? Has it been, do you think this is a fresh beer? Is it, has it been sitting for a while? I, I wouldn't think it's been aged in anything. I don't think so. I mean, at most maybe some oak spirals, but even that I'm doubting. I mean, to me, it tastes like a red ale. It's too um, clean. That to maybe true. has a little bit of age on it. But, again, I don't know what the beer is, so it's, it's hard to say if this was intended to be just at the level of hoppiness that it's at right now, or, mm -hmm. uh, but there's definitely some hops in this beer. I don't think it was aged in anything. It's too clean. I don't get any barrel character. Well, I'm going to ask you guys to settle on the style you think it is and score it up here for me. Tell me what you think. Well, I'll go first. Uh, I definitely am thinking some sort of hoppy red ale as mm -hmm. my style and I'm gonna go with a I really like it. I'm gonna go a four out of five on this I'm really liking it I love that butterscotch character I like the hop background I love the malt hop interaction I think it's a good beer go cool. four out of five yeah if I had to pick a style first and foremost I would go with red ale my backup would be American Strong Ale, um, but I'm not getting a lot of booze on it, so I tend to, I'm tending to lean towards the uh, red ale. I'm going to go just a notch below Dave at a 3.75, but I st definitely think this is the, a delicious beer. Uh, it's, it's, it's great. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to agree with Dave. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. I like the boldness of the malt flavors on this one mm -hmm. in contrast with the hop flavors. Um, especially when you hit, when you smell this beer, you think, oh, I'm going to get blasted by hops on this one with a nice solid malt background. And instead, it's kind of the opposite. Yeah. You get blasted by some sweet malts and there's a nice solid hop background. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really enjoyable, pretty well balanced. I like it. Four out of five. Okay, this beer is an Alesmith Evil Dead Red. Oh, nice. Nice. Done. Wow. Also in the, in the spirit of the season here. 
Nice Halloween beer, 6.66% alcohol. Good. Okay. Nice beer. Wow. That, I mean, it's a, it has a real interesting malt character. Yeah, it does. I mean, I can't get over the butterscotch flavoring. And they then those hops like balance that malt right out. Um, we also did the, uh, what was the blood red ale? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What was it? I want to say it was it was an ale. Blood Smith. of the Unicorn. Blood no, 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 no. It was another ale Smith brew that I had. Regardless. My bloody Valentine. Yeah, right. Yeah. And that I could see that one had a lot more age on it though than this. And mm -hmm. Good one. Uh, ale Smith's a great brewery. I'm definitely a great beer from them. Yeah, nice choice, Pat. Till right. next time. Cheers. Cheers.